Hey, Pretty Valley family, it's my first pastor's note for the new year, and so trust that you guys had something of a break over the Christmas and New Year period. I know I had a couple of weeks off. Great just to relax, rest a bit, catch some sun, spend some time with the family. Uh, but I must admit, I arrived back at office a week later than everyone else, and <laughs> I'm chasing now to keep up with everyone as plans for the new year just get into full swing. I'm sure you're finding the same thing, whether it's with your kids or your business or yourselves, just as a family. It's going to be a busy year. I'm excited about us returning to a degree of normalcy. Can't wait to see more of you back in the building. I haven't seen some of you guys for two years, and hoping that you're going to mean to drift back to worship in the building. Can't wait to see our life groups and connect groups are going to grow. Can't wait to see how some new ministries are going to be birthed in this year. Can't wait to see how Renew is going to continue to make the kind of impact that it has uh, and grow that impact. Uh, met with some of our, in fact, all of our missionaries. On Friday, we had a three-hour online connect session uh, called Engage. It was just phenomenal to hear what God is doing across the globe. You know, just exciting stuff. That God is using his people to change the world, uh, to bring the good news of Christ to people uh, in every nation, every people group. And we get to be part of that in some small way as Prairie Valley Church. Can't wait to see how God is going to do some amazing stuff through you. Uh, um, full-time missionaries are not all about, uh, is, is the, not the only place that ministry happens, that mission happens, we're all called uh, to represent Jesus in our, in our spheres of influence. Can't wait to see what that looks like. So Tuesday, 1st of Feb, we gather together as a congregation, 7 to 8 o'clock in the building. In the evening, it's an AGM. Please do join us. Love to see all of you there opportunity for us to go through some of the practicalities of what AGM means, uh, but also to spend some time talking about the vision for this year, and most importantly, just praying together. Um, Brent spoke on Sunday about reading scripture. I think it's going to be a big part of our year. It's just all of us learning to develop rhythms of reading scripture and engaging with God through the reading of scripture. I uh, want to challenge you, I guess, to uh, sign up. Uh, to read scripture on a regular, device, uh, regular basis. I've signed up on the Version Bible app to do a seven-day reading plan uh, about fresh start reading scripture and invite you to do the same thing. Join me for the next seven days. And slowly but surely, uh, we begin to develop a rhythm of daily engagement with God through the Bible. Hoping you're going to join me in that. Uh, perhaps last notice. Uh, is that our New Day Aftercare is looking for some people to come and support the learners. I think they're mostly high school or a couple of primary school kids, but just helping them with extra English and extra maths. And so we're looking for some folk who will come and spend an hour or so, uh, perhaps once a month or once a week uh, at the aftercare, just helping the kids with their English and with their mathematics. If that's something that you have time for and have a heart for, and then do touch base with one of our team and we will point you in the right direction. Guys, 2022, starting with a bang, uh, may you more than anything else know the deep, deep love that God has for you. And may you have a growing sense of his presence in your life. And what I'm trusting for this year is just to learn to listen to the voice of the Spirit more. Haven't been good at it in, in recent months and years, and I want to I shift that. I want to hear that gentle nudge of the Spirit more often. I don't want it to be a wow experience every now and again, but just to hear the voice of the Spirit in, in my day-to-day -day living. And we'd be praying that you would experience uh, the same thing. Bless you all.